I see a lot of boxers leaving their home countries and they move to other foreign countries to pursue their boxing career. And they have no choice. That, that's what they're going to do to become successful, unfortunately. Because boxing in their country is not as strong as it is in, in, in countries like England, America, Canada, or even China. Um, China or Japan for the lighter weight. Now, if you're a boxer, or if you are watching as a fan, and your son is boxing, or your cousin is boxing, and he's not moving anywhere, he's not progressing in your country because maybe there's not a, a strong enough promoter. Maybe he's fighting for peanuts compared to what boxers are getting paid in England or America. An example. Tell your son, okay, first of all, there's a few things you need to look at before you want to move to another country. My father's best friend told him many years ago, about 30 years ago, he said to me, he said to me, my father, he said to my old man, he said, listen, you can send your son here, there, anywhere you want, but what it comes down to is, can, you, can the man do it? And that's very important, can the man do it? So you can go anywhere you want, you can go to any country you want, but can you fight? Can you do it, guys? It's very, boxing is very tough, so when you, if, if you want to move to another country, consider, just listen to this video quickly. First of all, you have to, you have to be able to fight. You've got to fight, look, you've got to look after yourself. And if you're in boxing, you'll know what I'm talking about. You, you can fight or you can't fight, that's how it is. Secondly, you need to go to America. In my opinion, I've, I've been in England for eight years. I'm from South Africa, um, but I've been in, I lived in England for eight years. That, that's, that's where I chose to go to. And England is very, very hard to make it, to become successful. There's a lot of politics there. It's very, very, it's very tough as a, uh, as a foreigner to make it in England. And please believe me, that's how it is. If you, if you want to know more information, comment below and I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll glad to share some stories with you. You need to go to America. America accepts all boxers from all over the world. And the American crowd, what they, what they love is they love someone who can fight. And I've heard this from someone many years ago who advised me. They said America loves a fight. They love someone who can fight. I remember Mickey Ward and um, what's his opponent's name? Uh, Gaddy. Arturo Gary, remember those fights, they had the trilogies, you know, uh, Marvin Hagler, all those guys, Sugar Ray Leonard, those, those, the Americans love a good fight, that's what it's about, so it doesn't matter, they don't care where you're from, if you're from Mexico, or if you're from Panama, or if you're from South Africa, or England, as long as you can fight, uh, and when you get to America, <laughs> it'd be a good idea to change your surname as well, like, give, give yourself an Irish surname, like Mickey Ward, Mickey Irish Ward, just for, for marketing purposes. You know what, guys? So you've got to make sure you can fight. And also, before you go to America, make sure you contact the people that side. Don't just rock up there. Like myself, I just rocked up in England. I just took a chance. But you know what? You've got to make sure you contact the people, the, the trainer, the manager, uh, and go with someone who is connected, a trainer who is connected. You, you'll see his boxers. Um, Freddie Rhodes comes to mind. Uh, he's, he's a bit old now and he's not 100% healthy, but he's connected. He's, he's very well connected. And you got to go to Freddie Rhodes. You got to go uh, somewhere else. Someone who's connected. Go where the where, where the boxing is, where the champions are training. That's what it's about, guys. You need. It's not what you know, but who you know. And it's a very, very, very tough sport, boxing, guys. But in certain countries, your chances of making it is about a thousand, a thousand out of one, one out of a thousand, and that's that. Maybe even more. The odds are even bigger. Boxing is so hard. Everybody is competing, and I've seen it when I, in my boxing career. Boxers from 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 Eastern Europe came to Germany to live there, they came to England to live there, to box there, because uh, like their own countries in Russia or Uzbekistan or wherever, uh, they wasn't, it wasn't uh, strong. Um, and you know, there's a South African boxer, this just comes to mind now, South African boxer, there's actually two South African boxers, they've gone to America, 
after I think they've watched uh, me going to England and having making achieving some success, and now they've done the same, but they've gone to America. The guy's name, the one guy's name is Chris Van Yerden. He's a welterweight. He's a good boxer, good, very nice guy. Uh, his father got shot dead the other day, about a month or two ago. And condolences to his family. It's a very sad situation. Chris Van Yerden is there. He's a welterweight. He's campaigning now. He's boxing with Freddie Rose, I believe. And there's another boxer as well. I think he's about a lightweight or junior lightweight or featherweight. His name is DJ Creel. You gotta go check these guys out. But check out Creel. About three three years ago, I saw Creel at a gym in South Africa. And I said to him, I said, listen to me, DJ. You're wasting your time in South Africa. He was busy fighting for a South African promoter. Uh, and he was getting peanuts. He was he wasn't getting a lot of money. He was going that way. I told him. I said. I said. DJ, let, let me tell you something. You are wasting your time in South Africa. You've got the talent. You've got this the skill. Uh, you've got the determination. You've got that X factor. Go to America, buddy. Go and pursue your goal in America. And you know what? I just gave him my opinion. I said, if you want to go, go to America. Don't go to England. Go to America and it was about, I don't know, maybe a year later or six or ten months later, DJ Creel is now in America. He's now busy there and he's got a big title fight coming up and he's, this guy is good, DJ. His name is D-E-E-D-E-E-J-A-Y, DJ Creel, K-R-I-E-L. Check him out, guys. Check him out. And he's, he skips like four Mayweather. Uh, he really is good. He's a, he's a natural talent. But check him out, guys, and uh, please take my advice. Go to America. That's that's unfortunately how it is. Eh? If you're a foreigner, America is the place to go. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for more exciting videos. I'll see you next time. Cheers.